What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good sis voice. DDG won't smoke with a rapper. I don't know. Let's get it. Oh, wait, wait. We need sound. All right. At Tiger's party. DDG in a recent freestyle with Red Bull mentioned an altercation he had at Tiger's party back in 2023. Supposedly he ran into rapper Loaf. DDG's current freestyle says, seeing a op at Tiger's party had to pull his whole card. Now back in 2023, DDG's brother Dub decided to do a prank on DDG by having rapper Loaf, who people say favored DDG, wear boxes with Halle Bailey's face on it. Well, the prank didn't go as planned. Dub posted the pictures in the videos on Instagram of Loaf wearing the boxers and DDG went off and allegedly blocked Dub and DDG was going back and forth with Rapper Loaf. Here's what Rapper Loaf had to say recently about DDG mentioning the altercation at Tiger's party. Listen. You didn't do sit at Tiger's party. What are you talking about? That's not like sit. You didn't do sit. Yo ass told the security guard to get me and my boy at the party. It was two against it five of y'all. It was five of y'all. It was two of us. What are you talking about? And you blocked me on every social media. You blocked me on Twitter, Instagram, every social media. What is you talking about? You pulled my whole car. You was telling the security guard, get these bitches up out of here. I can't perform if they here. Wooty wooty woo. The security guard kicked us out. Not you. You didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? So stop the cat. He's out here capping. Okay, for sure. We about to end all this. Lena was beyond piss. Shit. So in my video yesterday, she was leaking my location. I think we said enough in the last video that this really don't even need a response, but here's what she had to say. The way people think that just because you're an influencer or you do social media, you can't speak about lies that are being told on you is crazy. That's like sitting in jail for a crime you did not commit. <laughs> if that's not true about me, best believe I'm gonna speak up and say that's not true, especially if all these people are commenting it on it and believing the lies in the narrative. And as you should, the problem is y'all gonna be going back and forth with everybody on an everyday basis all day long, all day long. And trust me, I know by experience, but one thing I will do is call out something maybe once. I'm lying, maybe twice. But baby, I am not about to keep going back and forth, which if I know it's cap. So if it's cap and you know it's cap, just stop getting flustered. Ain't no need for you to get flustered. Lena, hell. <laughs> I would not let this keep, unless I'm gonna make a coin off of it right quick. Y'all, y'all have a real, I gotta cut my light up. Y'all have a real confused as to why I reply to certain things or give certain things attention. Cause I'm getting paid. And you know, y'all will do one video. I don't be understanding that. Like when it's about y'all, y'all will do one video. Uh-uh, I'm gonna monetize off the whole thing if I'm gonna talk about it. But if it ain't that deep or you feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's cap. Keep it moving, sis. I know I would. I'm going to speak up. <laughs> the fuck? Yanni, who was 20 years life? old and pregnant by 17-year-old no. Troy, had this to say. I didn't want to tell y'all because I didn't feel like telling y'all. But now I'm telling y'all and now y'all know. And now y'all are having a field day and doing the most. And that's why I didn't tell y'all. But now since y'all know, I don't really give a fuck. Y'all not going to make me not enjoy my motherfucking time. Oh, sorry. I was just having a little, I was just chatting. Queen Naja performed at the BT Experience event. I know y'all want to know like what I think, or oh, you might, you might not, uh, about him being 17, her being 20. I'm sure y'all thinking if he was 20, he was a man. I mean, if he was 20 and she was 17, it would have been a problem. Exactly. It is a double standard with certain things. However, um, that's them. That's all I got. Last night. I feel like that's a copyright. Okay. I love her hair like that. I really don't want the copyright. Um, all right, let's see. Did anybody else post a video? I'm gonna to right quick. That short child voice probably don't want to do short videos. Um yeah, because this 11 minutes, Karina goes off, break up rumors. What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Yesterday, I reported that Karina's mom had took to Instagram to clear up the breakup rumors between her and Flo. Karina also took to Twitter and stated that y'all delusional and she was not going to entertain the BS. 
a lot of people believe that she's responding to the allegations about her and Flo breaking up. She stated that she will not be entertaining it and we're all delusional. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Karina did take to her Instagram answering a few questions and someone asked her how far along was she? And she answered that she's Damn, only six, six months. months. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm so <sighs> glad someone asked. I think that is a really great question. I think everyone was wondering how far along was she and things of that nature. So now we all know that she's six months. We know that we will be getting a baby shower real soon. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what do you think. Let's get into jazz and flow. Yesterday I reported that FOE, Prime's team, De Niro's team, which includes Flo, and Goodfellas were all linking up to play a game of kickball. Even though yesterday consisted of a little showers, they all still made it to the game. Now, I'm not too sure if Flo was there. He still haven't posted about it. I didn't see the full game. I was just watching little snippets from everyone's stories, but they look like they had a grand old time and they even ended the night and went bowling. Like I stated before, I just love when our people can come together and despite if we all may not know each other or even if we may not like each other, we still know how to conduct ourselves. But you guys comment down below yeah, and let us it. know what do you think. Would you guys be down for a FOE and flow link up? Because I know I am. I'm not gonna lie. I love them together. They all used to just have a lot of fun together. The bond looked at very genuine. I do think that a lot of the things that ah the things that they came out saying about them together and how jazz and them wasn't feeling him no more and all that i think they all should just go their separate way people go through a lot of things in life and it's nothing wrong with forgiving y'all we all should forgive whoever i forgive everybody um i don't forget nothing but i forgive because it ain't that deep anyway um but after that we ain't got to be cool. I don't have to see you. We ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> and they just need time to grow sometimes. And maybe I'm mistaken, but you guys leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I know you guys wouldn't be opposed to some great content. Oh my God. Tell him one. He tweaking. He don't know what he talking about. Jay Lone, the only one we got to worry about. Right. That nigga's going to 10 points. <laughs> 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 Houston activities going on. Who is this? Ain't a little rain. I ain't never hurt nobody. It ain't raining over there. Okay. While we're on the topic of jazz, yeah. you guys all know that her and her boo, India, were just in Colombia for india's birthday india took to twitter and stated i Come love on, my teeth, teeth. teeth shout out to my them. make it happen too so I ain't gonna lie y'all so i have a um i have friends that got their teeth done in columbia i'm scared uh it's places in america now that can do them <laughs> but um i ain't gonna lie i probably wouldn't go to columbia to get my teeth done um and to be honest, it just, it's kind of scary. I'm scary in general to get this procedure or any procedure. I'm more so on the fence of if I got to do it, I got to do it. Like maybe these breasts one day uh, if I don't work them off, but I plan on working them off. Um, but like with teeth, you know, them teeth look good. They do very good. But let me know if y'all will go to Columbia to get y'all teeth done if you you know, had the funds to do so. Y'all, them shits is clean they as are. hell. I they, might, they I might need to go to the Top Smiles in Columbia because they look real good. But you guys comment down below. And oh, like, what I was going to say was they ain't give them no pain medicine, though. And this was around COVID when they got their teeth done. But they said they ain't get no medicine or nothing. It was just, they just kind of had to deal with the pain. I don't like pain at all. Let me know if y'all got y'all teeth done, what y'all experience was. Let us know what you think. Do you think India is emphasizing that Jazz got her teeth done for her birthday? Like I stated plenty of times before, I just believe Jazz and India wants to be private. They have whatever they have going on, they have that understanding and they don't bring their drama and their problems to the internet, which is amazing. That's a lot of growth, especially you guys know Jazz coming from her last situation with Crystal. So the fact that she's being private and don't 
don't want the internet to mess up what she has going on we just have to commend her for that it seems like india is keeping her happy and she's keeping india happy they've been dealing with each other for a while now you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think let's get into king and lena yesterday king and lena dropped dropped a video titling surprise helicopter ride on our fourth anniversary where it's supposed to be their third year anniversary but they titled it our fourth year anniversary and it has a lot of people in the comment section stating mm. that they're just doing it for clout because they want to get their views up or maybe he was talking to her while talking to Neek. A lot of people was confused on how the heck were they together for four years if Kaiser's only five and Ocean is only- I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this was a simple mistake. My background, okay. I feel like it was a simple mistake, bro. That's just kind of where I am with it. I just feel like it was a simple mistake too how the hell would you guys have been together for four years if you weren't messing around while he was with neek now guys let's look at the timeline make it make sense if they were together for three years and ocean is two basically she got pregnant right as soon as they started talking which wouldn't really make any sense because why would you want to have a child with someone that you just met a few months ago maybe she don't believe in abortions i can't be against her for that but the way they made it seem like they fell in love when they first met each other is just just crazy that they were only talking with each other for a few months someone in the comment section stated lena said on the t page that she got pregnant in april but king didn't ask her to be his girlfriend until june so that means she got she got pregnant before he even asked her to be his girlfriend on june 23rd of 2021 lena posted on her instagram a post that stated i'm so grateful to have you in my life you make me the happiest so sweet so gentle so loving and thoughtful thank you for yesterday and every other day you put a smile on my face 621 then a month later on july 30th they're announcing that they're having a baby january of 2022 is when they announced they had ocean she stated that ocean was born january 3rd of 2022 now y'all know i had to go to google and go search it up but if you had a baby in january that would mean conceived around april of 2021 depending on your last period i'm not sure i know a lot of people be in a lot of different situations but a situation like that yeah i really just don't know i do believe they they had to have been talking for a while getting to know each other and just familiarize i ain't gonna lie lena is 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 owning up to the fact that um like yeah i let a nigga come in me and you know we wasn't fully together whatever she's kind of owning up to that and it just kind of has me in a place of like maybe they didn't and maybe they got my ass <laughs> but i just i don't I don't believe, um, I know I need a haircut real bad. I don't believe that it's real. I, 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 I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that they were doing that, uh, before the time that they said it was. And I could be wrong, but I just don't themselves with each other so if something like this was to happen they would already know each other i know a lot of people that would state that that was too early to have a baby with someone that you didn't know prior to and i also know a lot of people that have been in that situation and it worked out for the better just like king and lena but comment down below guys and let me know what you think do you think they started dating in december because the voice for the people posted a snippet of when lena was live and lena stated they started talking on social media Media in December. They didn't meet up until January. Like, December 2nd, y'all. December 2nd, we started talking. We started talking. We ain't meet till January. I ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna keep talking about it because I'm over it anyway. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Whether it's true or not, I just feel as though it's over. It is what it is. Uh, they all have moved on. And um, that's all I got. Bye.